Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty and today I have new yarn! Shop with me at Joanne's Yarn Shopping. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Kim and my channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Holy monkey noodles. This is by far one of the softest yarns I have felt in probably the last year and a half. It is amazingly soft. This is the color Olive. It is a big twist yarn. It's a bulky five. Calls for a 6.5 millimeter hook. It's 219 yards or 210 meters. And yes, I did go into these boxes for you guys. This yarn is not even on the floor yet. This is Big Twist Hush. Shh, hush, hush. 10.5 ounces or 300 grams. So I am not exactly sure if I saw all the colors. I will look and see if it's on the Joann's website. And if it is, uh, during this part of the video, I'll pop up the colors that are available online. It is so soft, guys. Machine wash cold, dry flat. So, so soft. I am going to be doing a yarn review on this. Probably, might that might be Monday next week. Keep a lookout for that. And I definitely, definitely want to be turning this into a cowl or something else that is next to my skin because that's where it belongs. This is the color birch. It is so soft. Mm. This one is a little bit more intense pink than it's showing here on my phone but it is the color blush I'm gonna be showing several new yarns today this is just the first one purple color and it is the color doo -doo -doo -doo. purple I'm not very creative with the names on this one Joann's and I did have or I have two boxes I'm going to be looking through for you guys. Many of the employees here were trying to put out uh, fall stuff. And I was very happy that I saw the little Regis RGIS tags everywhere, which meant they just had their inventory. So everything is nice and neat and where it belongs. Happy Shop With Me videos. Hey, if you want to check out my Shop With Me playlist, I'm getting close to 200 Shop With Me's. I'll link that down below. And last week I did post a video about some clearance here on at Michael's. If you want to go check that out. Ooh, I'm noticing this like wine color popping up everywhere this year. I wonder if this is like a very popular color right now. It's called wine. <laughs> and now we're going to dig dig and see if there's anything I missed right after this. This is a darker brown. It's the color taupe. Remember that. That's the color taupe. That's going to be important later on. And then there's this blue color. Kind of reminds me of like cornflower. What did they call it here? They called it denim blue. Uh, right now, this week, as of this video, um, Joann's has 25% off all yarn. And there's also a 50% off one regular price item coupon and something about pickup i don't i don't really pay attention to that because i don't pick up but check your joann's app as always any more colors hiding in here this has been the as far as feel the most excited i've been about a new yarn for the winter this year so excited okay moving on to our next new yarn this is another Big Twist yarn. This is Big Twist. That's that sparkly, guys. Big Twist Mellow. 99% premium acrylic, 1% polyester. And it is 81 yards or 74 meters, 5 ounces or 142 grams. It is a 6 weight. Uh, I'm going to agree to disagree on that one. I don't think that's a 6 weight. It is white, and the color of the ribbon in it is like a rainbow clear, kind of. 
Okay, this is like a peachy color with a gold metallic string through it. Now, if you're someone who likes matchy-matchy, hang on, because I'm going to show you which one of these definitely match. And I'm also going to show you how you can save quite a bit of money per skein here in a few minutes. Everybody loves a mustard. And it's nice because a lot of the colors in this yarn are very jewel tone, which I love working with jewel tone. So it is four strands of that kind of unspun with one strand of metallic running throughout. And this is mustard with gold metallic. This was pretty soft, not nearly as soft as the Hush, but still pretty nice. Then we have a navy blue with a slightly lighter blue metallic thread. And it's called, uh, what's the name? Indigo, oh, I like that name. And then we have a darker ruby color with a slightly lighter metallic red strand. And it's called wine, of course it is. Ooh, this color is very nice, very autumnal. This is the color rust, I believe. And it has a similarly colored uh, metallic in it. Yep, rust. I definitely really did like that color. Oh, and then, hey, how's it going? T like a very, very lush, deep um, color here with the blue colored uh, streamer, but it's not the same as the other blue. It's called Peacock and I agree. Now, remember I said that other yarn was called Taupe? Keep that in mind. That's called taupe. It is not the same color as the other yarn I showed. It is like a dark gray. I don't know what is going on here with the color. Uh, don't buy this and think it's brown. Bad naming there. Big twist. Double check that there wasn't the wrong ball band on it. Nope, that's what all of them said. <laughs> and I went, huh? Because it's definitely a darker gray, like a medium gray. This is a little bit more purpley than it's showing right now. I'm not sure why it's reading a little bit grayer. This is lavender, and it's got that color streamer in it. So I think there's another one down here. Hold on. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, here we go. Olive with an olive colored streamer. And, yeah, that's olive. Okay, now I'm going to show you that one has like the off-white clear metallic, as does this one that's taupe. That's not really taupe. Oh, no, that's lavender. Sorry. And then these have metallic streamers that match the color that it is. They don't match each other. They match the color of the skein. And then that one is olive green. And then if you go back to the top, this one, mustard, and the pinky have gold streamers. So if that is a problem for you... You need to match those, keep that in mind, they're not all the same. And this is normally $8.99. And then the one down here is $7.49. So that's a dollar fifty difference per skein. This is still called Mellow. 100 percent premium acrylic. This one does not have the metallic streamer in it. And I'm gonna hold this next to the other label in a second so you can see how they compare. 81 yards. 81 yards. There is 81 yards in each. So you are paying an extra $1.50 a skein for that metallic streamer. I think I'd have to go with the non-metallic on this one, guys, just because $1.50 is a decent amount to be paying different when these are literally exactly the same minus the streamer. Really sorry about that naked skein. I will definitely, I put that back after I finish filming this. <laughs> I was like, whoopsie. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And again, this week, these are all, all the yarn is 25% off. Um, and I'm just going to continue to show you matches. There is more new yarn coming after this, so don't go away. Um, but yeah, that first yarn is some soft stuff, man. 
I literally, my fingers were itching to get to work with it. That's how soft it, it is. I can't wait to review it. Also this week, if you're into crafting books, uh, Joanne's hasn't had them on sale in a while, but they're 30% off this week. And I did pick up one. I cannot wait to review and show you. And this is not a beginner book, guys. This is intermediate. Uh, I'm pretty much very advanced. So I cannot wait to share this with you. I am so excited. I opened it and I was like, holy monkeys. I want to try like almost all the things in this book. Okay. Cannot wait to share it with you. Okay. And now I did find the new Ogos in the nicer packaging. Uh, it's a five weight, six millimeter hook, 71% acrylic, 18% nylon, 11% polyester. And it is eight ounces, 481 yards, 227 grams, 440 meters. It is the Ogo, where be the name, friends? This is the color Vanilla Frost. It's an ombre. It's called Colorama Halo. Karen, Colorama Halo. It does slightly remem remind me, reminisce of the, blah, blah, blah. try that again. It is reminiscent of the feel of latte cakes. I, however, feel that latte cakes is softer than this. But that's just my touch memory because obviously i didn't have a latte cake to feel at the same time because latte cakes are only at michael's this one is cranberry frost these are all blah blah frost every single one of these okay what's really cool though is a that cardigan looks great secondarily see the qr code you can scan it and it brings you right to the pattern on the label okay i kind of like that I like this green one a lot too. It seems like it's gonna be a gentle ombre too. It doesn't seem like it has any rough breaks in it, but I don't know that definitively until I use it. So I will be doing a review on this very, very soon. What do you guys make out of this or which color is your favorite? And also which one of these yarns are you most excited about? So I did pick up one of the Colorama Halo Ogos. And then I also, ooh, ooh. We've got none hanging out, and it looks unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I'll f I fix that in a minute. So if you pop off the little tiny label, apparently those just come apart, so be aware of that. Mm -hmm. Pinks on the color. Oops. I don't buy that too fast. Uh-uh. So these are normally $9.99. Again, I got them for 25% off this week. This is the color. This is the color that cardigan is in. It is, these are really hard to see, I'm sorry. Harbor Frost. Oh, there you see there's an old Ogo packaging with all that cardboard. This is a lot less. And also, I feel like it's more yardage. This is Blue Stone Frost. This is the one I ended up going with. I was going back and forth between that green one and this one. Here's the gray, gray to white ombre, called graphite frost. I still wish they'd just come in a cake with the center pole, but well, what are you going to do? Yeah, I was kind of humming and hawing between that green and that blue. What do you guys think? Which one of these is your favorite color? Now on to another new yarn. Finally got a chance to see this one in person. This is the Lion Brand DIY Glow. This is Glow in the Dark Yarn. I was just talking about this the other day. And this is 71 yards or 65 meters, 100% polyester, machine washable and dryable. It's a four weight. So it's a small ball, but you're most likely going to use this as an accent on something. Maybe on the rim of a hat or if you want to make a safety vest, you could also put this on your safety vest. We were just talking about this the other day. Very funny. 749 no i did not get any but i might in the future we'll see and then there was only one skein or one cake of this i will link ginger's video down below where she does a shop with me at joanne's and she features this reverb on it and another one that i didn't find at this store i was looking for this reverb in blue but 
alas, they didn't have it yet. This is also a different Joann's than I normally film at. So, very exciting. Thanks for hanging out with me on the shop with me. Um, let me know which one of these yarns is your favorite and which color you would go through for. Um, and I'll have those yarn reviews coming up soon. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty too and have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.